to my channel beyond the moon i'm doing a peek at your person love tarot reading so sagittarius sun moon rising and venus if this does not resonate please check your other placements for messages there feel free to cross watch but don't force anything to fit okay uh it is a general reading so sag um stick around till the end i have a fun exciting announcement to make so stay tuned all right, I'm going to get into your overall energy and their overall energy, their current energies, blockages, how they feel about you, potential outcome, obstacles, all the fun stuff. So stick around. All right, so Sag, um, channeling your energy, I was getting a very like irritated, irritable, like I got stress all up in my like shoulders. I feel like you're, you're, you're stressed or confused. A um, lot going on with you guys. Um, so let's get into this reading and see what's what's happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You have here and now between worlds co-create. Yeah, I feel like you're you're stuck. You're feeling stuck or you're, you're stagnant, stuck, not knowing which way to go. Very irritated energy here. Um, I feel like you really, really, really want some kind of a new beginning or something to break here. Like, let's get out of this crap and go into the sun. Like, I'm tired of being stuck. I want something new to happen. I want a door to open. I want potential or possibilities, something like that. I feel like there's just something where you're just feeling like stuck. All right. Your person, on the other hand, they have all that glitters isn't gold. So they could have been wearing a false self mask. Some things may have come to light, some truth, some clarity. Um, your person also has buy the book and go the distance, though. So I feel like your person, even though they were wearing a false self mask, I feel like they still do want to do things the right way or they want things to be long lasting or go the distance, putting in that work and effort. Um, underlying energy though, we have abandoned, orphaned. So I don't know if you're feeling left out in the cold or if they're feeling left out in the cold or they have like abandonment issues or something going on here, but let's dig in and find out. All right. Current energies for Sagittarius, this person, current energies for Sag's person, what's going on? Yeah, they're feeling a sense of loss, sadness, regret, remorse. Hmm. Did a truth come out and now they like they're they're trying to make it up to you? I don't know. Let's see. What's going on? What's going on? We have five of five of wands and five of cups. So Heated arguments, heated, passionate arguments, disputes, one-upping each other, tit-for-tat, comp uh, competition. Was there like a lot of arguing going on between the two of you? And it was keeping you feel stuck, like you're stuck now? Hmm, what else? Current energies for Sagittarius' this person. Page of Pentacles. There could be an age difference between the two of you. Doesn't have to be. Maybe stability wasn't fully complete here. We have Three of Cups. Options. Three of Swords. Was this person treating you like an option? Putting you in third party situations? Not giving you full stability? For some of you, there could be a pregnancy involved, like they could have gotten someone pregnant for some of you. For others of you, that's not the case for all of you. For others of you, I feel like there is something to do with this person, possibly with like, if they have children with somebody else, a house, a family dynamic, something like that. I'm almost getting like they put you in a third party situation when they were already in a higher level of commitment. Hmm. Hmm. What's blocking this? What's blocking this connection? Sagittarius and their person. What's blocking this connection? Hmm.
deception, lies, betrayal, deceit, manipulation. This person wasn't honest with you. They have, they have somebody else. They have someone else. Yeah, and it caused a painful ending. A lot of arguments. King of Swords, there could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini involved. There could be an age difference or children involved here. Wow. That's why I'm feeling like a very on edge, like stressed out. This person caused a lot of pain. I feel like they acted very immature. Definitely a third party situation going on here, guys. Definitely a third party situation. They were pretending or acting to be single. And they weren't. I feel like they misled you. It was like, yeah, they came across like knight in shining armor, male or female, whatever. It was too good to be true. It was fake. It was a facade. It wasn't. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Nope, I don't like this energy at all, Sag. I'm doing side notes over here. Yeah. Now we have the Emperor and Empress on the table. So that's that's a married couple. Or a family dynamic. Like having children together, living together, family, family. And they're going around making love offers to other people. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. We basically have everyone here except for water. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Well, we have Pisces here. So Scorpio, Cancer. I mean, we they're all here. It could be anybody that you're dealing with. This person was a player. <laughs> Sorry to say it. They just, they were fake. And lies. I feel like lies after lies after lies. Wow. How do they truly feel about you, Sag? How does this person truly feel about you? Oof, this one's tough. How does this person truly feel about you? Ace of Cups. Of course they do. They want a new beginning. Yeah. Ace of Wands. They want a new beginning here. There's passion, chemistry, attraction. They're very attracted to you, Sag. They're very attracted to you. They see you as very guarded, though. Like you're protecting yourself. You're not letting them come right back in. How else do they feel? I could, I could say they also feel like they want to protect this connection with you. Scorpionic energy, tower moment. They know they caused the tower. They know that they caused everything to come crumbling down. And now they want to freaking talk. They want to talk to you, Sag. They want to communicate. I feel like they're trying to find the strength and courage to reach out to you. Like, will you talk to them? Will it go okay? Oh, they want to tell you that they want to fight for this and they're getting divorced from the other person or they want to do things the right way. They want to transform this. If you're married to this person, they want to balance the scales here. They want to fight for this and they want to transform this. That's what they want to communicate to you. After they done, did all up, like, bad. Like, this is the true meaning of it's complicated. <laughs> like, holy cow. Yeah, they want to balance things out. That Now they're carrying the burden. They caused all this on you, but now it's heavy on them. See, potential outcome, potential outcome. Keep in mind, everyone has free will. It can change. There's that emperor again, Aries energy, bossing up, taking control, taking action, 
King of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, Death Card, Scorpionic Energy. This person wants to come towards you in a very powerful way. They want to take action. They want to take control. They want to boss up, own up to their mistakes. Knight of Wands, there you are. Sag. Yeah. Your wish come true to them, so they're going to come back towards you. Tower again. Tower after tower after tower after tower. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. Yep. They're holding on to you. They're not letting you go. They're feeling sad, regret, remorse. They want to reconcile this. You are their wish come true. They're super conflicted. They put too many people in the way of this connection, but they're holding on to you, Sag. They're not letting you go. Because you made them happy. So now they want to put in the work and effort, but yeah, you're feeling stuck because of the family situation. Whatever that means to you, there's a family dynamic here. It's causing you to feel stuck. If you have a family with this person, it's making you feel stuck. Like, should I just give in and, and go back to this person or do I stand my ground and say no? You got to use your own discernment here. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but this person does want to come back because they feel regret and remorse. Wow. Well, let's see. What's the biggest obstacle you're going to have to overcome? Biggest obstacle you're going to have to overcome. We will get into that right after this. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back into your obstacle. Slowing down and understanding. So I feel like, um, Sag, understanding where this person came from, understanding their background, their childhood, traumas or hurts pains that they've been through that's making them do what they do today um, so having that understanding or compromise or being on that mutual page with each other slow things down a bit here all right don't rush into anything if this person you feel you can work it out with them i feel like the obstacle is to not just be like all right welcome back take it slow and have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Follow your intuition too, all right? This person exhausted you. Do you want to go through that again, you know? So don't rush into anything. Make sure you have a true understanding of what this person is. Did they learn their lesson? Are they going to do this again? Is it going to be a cycle, right? All right, what, else, what other messages do we have for Sag? What other messages? Release what I just said. Uh, release, loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt, perception, red flags, delusion, perspective, see through your own false beliefs, all that glitters isn't gold, and lessons, knowledge, understanding, look for the lesson in this situation, all right, there is definitely a lesson here, yeah, something to do with family, kids, opinions, judgment, resolve family issues, get support, and hidden path. I feel like that door that you're you're waiting for is going to open up for you. All right, an awakening, and then romance. I feel like you have some blessings, someone else, something new coming in instead of this person. I feel like some of you might give it another try, and it might go well with you. But I feel like some of you, you're just kind of done. And you're looking for that new beginning. And I feel like you're going to get it. A door is going to open for you. All right, let's see. What else? What other messages? 
love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Yup. They want to talk. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other together. And be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, heal. Dragonfly. Things coming to light. You found out the truth here. All right, let's see. What would this person like to say to you if they could? Sag, what would they like to say to you if they could? What would they like to say to you if they could? I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. It could be that too. I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh. They used to light up my world. My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. Have we grown apart and you moved on? So, yeah, they're trying to get that confidence to come back. Uh, when times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. Oof. All right, Sag, let me know in the comments if this resonates, um, if they've reached out, all that good stuff.